This is The Simp Hit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, but the real star today's show is iRacing. Now, four times a year, we see an update to The Sim, and today marks one of those such occasions. Now, like I said, four times a year, but not all updates are created equal, and some are bigger or badder than others, and this does mark a very big build with some big improvements to the already great Sim. Now, let's go ahead and talk about some of the big improvements to iRacing that we're seeing today in this latest build with the number one most obvious being and we've talked about it we've seen videos about it and that is the addition of circuit de sarth le mans or circuit de 24 hour de mans as i racing will call it this is a beast of a track coming in at 8.47 miles long and 33 corners iRacing also saw this track as a perfect opportunity to display some other new features of the sim that will be seen at this track and a handful of others as well. The wind will now blow the flags of the track with animated flags. And in the case of Le Mans, it will even feature flyovers by the Petruelle de France, if I said that correctly. Official support for the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive are now being updated or been enhanced and that means more head movement so you can actually move around a lot more. That's going to make for more realism and a little bit more fun. They've also worked on the anti-aliasing for both of these versions of the VR experience. Another cool visual update to the sim is the actual driver model. Yeah, the guy in the cockpit. He was getting a bit old and a little round in the middle, and he has been replaced with a new young gun. In certain cars, the driver position was even updated, and this might cause you to have to change your driving position within the sim. This change in character also continued over to the crew guys themselves. Now those additions are certainly beautiful and obvious to the eye, but they also have done a lot of improvements that are a little bit less noticeable and sometimes things you wouldn't see, but you'd necessarily feel. They've done extensive work on the dynamic track. Now this is a feature that was already in iRacing with marbles and certain effects of the tire and the conditions on the road, but they've done a ton of work and really enhanced the sim here. And when I think about things that sim racing are missing or the next generation of sim racing, sure, the VR experiences, things like that, things that we haven't even dreamed of. But in reality, I think it comes down to dynamic tracks. We've had beautiful car modeling. We've had great physics all of this on sims across the board but we're in that era where not only do we want to see laser scan and perfected tracks but tracks that are organic and change as you drive on them the track surface is now reacting more to weather usage and driving lines the track surface temperatures will be reacting to tires burning the rubber down into the driving line there will be increased amount of rubber built up and torn off into marbles on the edges of the track and cold, clean tracks will be affected by their surroundings with tracks like Mazda Raceway, surrounded by dirt on all sides, being dustier than those surrounded by bleachers and asphalt. In addition to those changes, there are a bunch of changes to the website itself. We're seeing graphical updates, including increased support for DirectX 11 and a phasing out of DirectX 9. There is the typical updates to individual cars and tracks with anything ranging from graphics to physics related fixes and updates. And that does leave one stone unturned. iRacing has been teasing this big surprise announcement and I thought we'd have that answer here today. However, that's not the case. They have put that off until next Tuesday, September 13th at 1 p.m. EDT or 1700 GMT at iRacing.com. I have no idea what they're planning, and honestly, this is a little bit unlike iRacing, so they have me speechless waiting in anticipation. Is this dirt coming to iRacing early? Is this something we've never thought of coming to iRacing? I can't wait to find out, and we'll find out next week. So I will have the complete list of all the changes, update, and fixes that came to iRacing with this video at thesimpit.com. You can check it all out there, and for now, it is week 13, so I'm going to get a jump on things, testing out some of these new features, and figuring out what I'm going to run next season Could I? because I really want to do very well. So i got to plan it out and attack it with a head of steam. For now, this is The Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.